Okay, so can you see my screen? Yes, please. Yes. Um, so as uh, Madou explained, uh, MAI yeah. is, um, is a mobile application which facilitates the, the quality yeah. and real-time data collection and reporting of uh, animal disease from the fields. So um, the workflow uh, is still the same. We kept um, what is uh, the, the, the basis for MAI, but we decided to modify slightly the, um, the functionalities to uh, enhance the platform as well as the, the data collection and the flexibility of, of the tool. So um, MAI is integrated to, um, to a platform which is called uh, Empresai. We have um, um, a public website, which is uh, now um, the, 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 where you can access all the official information uh, which are uh, collected uh, from um, uh, WISE or from EIOS and uh, all the, the, the official um, information on these events which is um, translated into three languages, but we also have a private interface, which is directly connected to MAI, and from which the validation flow, the acceptance and validation of the, the event coming in from the field can be accessed, visualized, and also analyzed uh, in uh, five different languages. So on, from this website, we, we, we can ensure that the, the data are confidential, and can be disclosed to the public only when the data sharing agreement is signed by, uh, from the country uh, point of view. So until now, MAI have been um, deployed in 17 countries over Africa and more than 3,800 users are already enrolled in the use of MAI. We collected more than 35,000 um, disease events with with MAI and um, event had been uh, accepted and validated through um, through Impresai. We already did twenty nine training workshops, so we will already received a lot of feedback from the countries. Um, but um, with the new um, MAI plus, we we are moving to um, another um, an, another um, way of uh, of using MAI. So we are already uh, looking at uh, what is outside of Africa and uh, how to use it in other um, settings, other countries with different um, type of deployments, but also different uh, environments. So what is new as a functionality uh, in MAI? So we speak about all the interoperability aspects. So it's an ongoing process, but um, we we will um, we will be interoperable with DHIS2 and CLAB as well as other um, databases which are uh, under discussion. We already have a unique identifier which is uh, prepared for cross interaction with uh, other official and non official databases. So we use um, um, a construction like UNFAO, the country uh, ISO code, and, and a, a unique identifier for the events. We are having two uh, types of uh, platform, a training environment and a, an official uh, platform uh, from which the countries and, and users of MAI can uh, differentiate the, the environment. We are more flexible and we have an extended set of role and permission from which users can uh, access different aspects of the platform. Uh, even if we have um, a unique URL and a unique app mobile application based on the user role and permission, we will, uh, well, the user can be uh, able to, um, to process different type of information. We are able to upload photo from gallery to be, uh, I mean, to attach to the form and report uh, symptom and lesion uh, with uh, with um, um, visual uh, support. And we can also export the graphical representation on the summary on statistics directly from the mobile application and share it through uh, social media. We um, um, we have a customizable form. So um, in the past, we, we had only one form used by, by any user and at, at country level. But now we, we also have some uh, customization possible on the internal administrative unit, for example, for countries which were not uh, well represented with the GAOL uh, 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 subdivision. We allow teamwork 
uh, by segmentation of the environment. So we will use uh, wording like workspace and segment to subdivide the, the, the grouping of the user at country level, but also at regional level to propose some confidentiality on the information shares. Um, we, uh, we also allow the distinction between uh, emergency and routine reports. And we have an extended set on, of, uh, of report and analysis through dashboards. So this is the summary on the, the extension of MRI. And now I will, um, I will go through some uh, presentation and video to show you how it's, uh, it's um, possible. So MRI is uh, only made for Android, so you can directly download through Google Play the, the mobile application, and you can already switch the, the workspace and segment to, uh, to access to specific events, um, which are part of the teamwork that we, uh, we propose. I will explain a bit later what is the meaning for workspace and, and segment. We have the five different languages directly available within the application. And based on the user role and, um, and permission, you can access to different functionality within the, the mobile application uh, to proceed to the acceptance, validation, also directly into the, the, the mobile application, but also to review what uh, had been um, uh, commented when you submitted, for example, an event. Uh, so comments are coming from the, the, the management team who could request, for example, additional uh, information which were not present in the form uh, or in, in the report that you submitted. So you can already see that there is also a different uh, looking for the training mode. So it's a, a yellow uh, version of, uh, of the, the official MRI+. Plus. So here, here you can see some uh, report and analysis available directly within the mobile application. All these graphical representation are also directly available into Impresci, the, the platform from which you can uh, accept, accept and validate. And you can um, share the information that directly uh, from the mobile application by sharing um, a link to uh, the dashboard that you want to share or by exporting PDF or images of the the, the dashboard that you, you created. So I was speaking about uh, customizable form. So here, for example, you can see the page from which you, uh, you can uh, define if you, if you decided to uh, access to this customization, uh, you will see that you have um, a switch button for emergency reports. They will be seen in a different way uh, in the application as well as on the platform. You have the, the internal administrative uh, subdivision that you can customize. Uh, so you can create your own subdivision and you can uh, um, select the, the item directly within the, the application. You, we are still uh, taking the GPS coordinate from which we can also uh, extract all the type of uh, administrative unit and, and subdivision. The onset date and observation date are available, as well as another type of date, which is the reporting date, the date from which the, the report uh, has been uh, shared with uh, the hierarchy and the, the surveillance system. So based on this uh, distinction, emergency or not, uh, you will see that the overview of the, the report will be uh, seen differently. And you will see as well uh, this um, question mark on the top of the, the status of the event, as well as the red background uh, directly on Empresai as well. So when an acceptor wants to accept an event, uh, he will see a red uh, flag on the, on the event. So from the complexity of the grouping of the user of MRI on the field, as well as in the, in the acceptance and validation team, uh, we will be able to aggregate the, the events reported, as well as the type of disease reported and the number of animal affected uh, based on this subdivision. So here an example from which you can see that um, 
The country has been subdivided into five teams working at, um, based on a regional subdivision and accepted and validated events reported from this subdivision, the administrative subdivision, are grouped in a specific uh, color code. So you will be able to know uh, in a more specific way from where the disease has been reported and um, how many events uh, have been reported uh, per administrative unit. We are also working on uh, the idea of uh, providing the access to the, the GLUES uh, template of uh, disease reports or disease events reported across um, various extent of, um, of areas directly to countries. So you will have an access to the country border, the country extent with uh, what has been uh, uh, developed by, uh, by GLUES. And based on the role and permission provided to users and the confidentiality of what they want to share, uh, you will have uh, uh, the event filtered directly on, on the map. So in the past, the old fashion of MAI were providing two types of setup. So you, you could deploy um, the DVO1 flow or the DVO2 flow. So based on this, you, you had uh, three or four different uh, type of user. Uh, who could participate to the uh, to the reporting process? So from this old-fashioned way of doing, it was more linear, and the information uh, was shared only after validation of the event at a national level. But with the new flow of uh, MRI, I mean, you can still report uh, the event in the same linear way. So following the surveillance system. But we have an extending an extended set of um, user role and uh, and type of uh, uh, of user. So we we propose up to three uh, reporter from the fields. So following the DVO one and the DVO two ID, we have now up to three different uh, people or group of people who can report from the field. We have um, up to two acceptance level as well as validation level. We propose as well uh, a role of, of uh, viewer and publisher to allow um, the, the user of um, other workspace and segment to share the information or view the information, for example, at a border level. So now it's important to understand what is um, a segment or a workspace. So actually it's um, two level of grouping of the, the user. Uh, that can um, allow a privacy and uh, and uh, and provide data sharing agreement amongst amongst the the user. So, for example, if you are part of a, a district or a region, you want to know what is uh, within your district or region, but you would also appreciate to know what is reported at the border of your administrative unit because you can also have access to some uh, farming system or. Uh, or, um, or herds that can uh, cross the border and you want to know what is happening um, in, in, uh, in the, the, the vicinity of your, your administrative unit. So you are not involved in the reporting process of the other administrative unit, but, but you, um, you, are, you can receive the, uh, uh, the, the right of viewing the information after acceptance or validation. So, um, so we propose this access at different level. It can be from submission uh, or from uh, the, the acceptance or from the validation. So it's fully uh, customizable. So it could be um, a segment based on the region or districts and a workspace, uh, for example, based on the sector. If you are working as a veterinary uh, within the public sector or the private sector, you can deploy two separate workspaces if you want to work on your own without uh, sharing the information um, before acceptance, for example. But you could also work all together in the same uh, workspace. So this is something that uh, we will need to discuss before to deploy the, the new system uh, with countries. So this flexibility allows better control on the visibility, the data sharing agreement, and the surveillance across uh, the sectors. 
So um, any request from uh, from the country can be customized, and uh, and we already have uh, five different scenarios available, um, and and more can be deployed or, or customized based on the country request. So the role and permission are very important to know before to deploy the new, new system because it will be the, the core of the structure of what you can uh, you can see, what you can uh, access, and not only what you can report. Uh, so each segment can uh, can have uh, up to uh, seven type of uh, user from now. So user can report in a specific segment and be informed about what is happening in the surrounding areas, meaning that you can also have uh, some surveillance system between wildlife and, uh, and, and uh, the public veterinary sectors with a, an easier way of, uh, of deployment. So here an example of, uh, of Ghana. Uh, and the surveillance system already uh, deployed, you can see that uh, we can propose, for example, to have uh, the three type of reporter uh, from the community level to the regional level. We can, for example, propose to have up to um, two acceptance level and two validation uh, level to, uh, to uh, remain flexible and follow the structure of the surveillance system. And we could also propose the viewer role after acceptance or validation based on the interest of the stakeholder, which are also involved in the surveillance process. So I, I was explaining that we already have five different uh, type of scenario already uh, known and that we can propose in a, in a very uh, fast way, but uh, more can be also uh, discussed. We already deployed three types of scenario, uh, but more or less uh, all of the different scenario deployed are using the two different layers, so workspace and segment. And I will now start with uh, more uh, visual uh, presentation about uh, how Empresai looks like and also uh, how the workflow is working with, uh, with short video. So we have an administrative an administration uh, section that we can also uh, propose um, to uh, to deploy at country level. Uh, we are for now uh, doing it ourselves from headquarters. So we propose the setup, we define the workspace segment, and we enter the user in the system. But we can also share the admin the admin role with um, a, um, a master user at country level who can also handle himself or by himself the user role and the, and the permission uh, attached to each of the user segment and workspace. So here, for example, you can see that we have a country or from headquarters, we manage uh, many workspace and some workspace are segmented based on a regional uh, subdivision. And we can also provide um, the user role to, um, uh, a specific user for uh, his access to more than one segment. So we have um, two types of environment within the, um, the Empress uh, private platform. So there is a training mode and, and uh, the official uh, modes. So based on this, you can also manage the user the user in, enrolled in the surveillance system. Um, if they are already enrolled in the in the reporting flow, or if you are starting cascade training of MAI, you can manage the user and you can uh, handle them uh, from the same platform based on the their evolution uh, using this training mode. When they are ready to start uh, reporting, they master the use of MAI and MPSA. They can be uh, directly migrated to the official uh, um, uh, version. So we have here, for example, in red, the emergency uh, reports. In white, it was routine report. And you can also have uh, this uh, bubble on the right of the screenshot, uh, which is 
the, the color code for the segmentation that you applied in the workspace. So MAI is, uh, is shared by a notification. So you are invited to, uh, to be enrolled in the, in the use of MAI and Emprecise through a notification, an email from which you can access directly uh, to Emprecise and MAI. And uh, you can download MAI and you can access to uh, the URL of uh, Emprecise to start uh, using it. And now I want, I would like to um, demonstrate you a use case. So uh, we decided to, um, to set up an environment from which uh, we have uh, three separate workspace applied in three different countries. Uh, all of them are segmented, but we uh, provided the access to uh, some of the user uh, in some segments to uh, the workspace of another country because they would like to um, deploy a surveillance system of, for, exa for example, avian influenza, and there is a risk of importation of avian influenza in another country, um, based on commercial activities, for example, or based on, on the travel of mi migratory birds. Um, so I have uh, 10 short uh, videos showing the um, the process of reporting an event in Togo that will be shared with uh, some users in uh, in uh, Ghana and um, and uh, and Gambia. So here the video of uh, a reporter reporting from the field and sending an event. So you can directly access to um, uh, to MAI. You can uh, log in using your 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 um, credential. Here it's a training mode because we are not reporting a, a real event, and we access to uh, the seg the workspace of Togo and the segment from which the the event is reported. And the user will uh, open a form and enter the information from an application which is uh, customized. So you have the emergency report and uh, has done in the past, you can just uh, enter the information from the diagnosis source. You can provide some comments. You can uh, provide the locality name, the latitude and longitude will be modified to be reported from uh, a location in, uh, in Togo. So the reporter uh, provides the onset date and the observation date, as well as the relevant information on the suspected source of infection and the surveillance system that reported the event. So we are also here having another functionality, which is the set button. So when you enter the information, uh, sorry, it's a bit fast, but when you enter an information, you can also uh, set the default value to zero or NA based on the knowledge that you have uh, from the field. If it's a true zero, or, or if you don't have the information, you can now provide uh, this distinction. So a sample is taken on on a chicken which is suspected of uh, of uh, being infected of Newcastle by Newcastle disease, and the event is sent uh, as usual.
So when the, the event is properly sent, you receive a notification and you can access to uh, the folder, which is called sent event, from which you can uh, view uh, the event overview of the event. So from the moment, the, uh, sorry, starting again. So from the moment um, the event is uh, is uh, is sent, the the user will receive a notification in directly in this uh, in his uh, email address with uh, an action notification. So here it's a, a submission of an event. There is no direct comment other than uh, the event is submitted. And you will see that this uh, email will uh, be mo slightly modified across the, the validation process. So from the email um, at acceptance level, an acceptor can provide comment to uh, the hierarchy, so directly another acceptor or a validator if the event is accepted, but you can also return an event to the reporter and uh, request for additional information. So now we are on the process of reviewing of the events. So it's the first level of acceptance. You remember that we, we set the, the environment with two levels of acceptance. So one is uh, the common acceptor and the other one is, uh, is from the laboratory unit. So here the first acceptor uh, access to the information directly on his mobile application, but he can also do it directly from MPSI. He review uh, the event. And when he's ready and, uh, and want to accept uh, the, the information, he provide a comment and can also um, accept the, the event. So the, the two processes are available. You can accept the event or you can return the event to the reporter. So after acceptance, the, the, the reporter who reported the event and the acceptor who accepted the event, as well as the laboratory unit, will receive the notification saying that the event is accepted and is, it's pending for, from the, for the acceptance uh, at the laboratory unit. So the confirmation of the case uh, with, uh, with the results from the, the laboratory. So here the user from the lab is, um, uh, is logged on MPRESI and he, uh, has, he access to the event directly in the section in which the, the event is pending for, for acceptance. He review the information and he will, he will provide um, the, the results of the, the test made at the laboratory level. So he can directly access to the laboratory form and provide uh, the type of test. So it, it's a false, uh, a false event. So the, the information is not uh, uh, correct, but he provides the, the test type, the results, and he can also uh, provide a comment saying that the event is accepted, for example. So at this step, the, the validation uh, level will be aware of uh, the acceptance of this event with uh, the, lab, the, the confirmation from the, the laboratory units with uh, a notification. Uh, 
and uh, the validator can can thus can then uh, access to the to the platform and implement the validation process as well. So we can uh, log into the platform, access to the workspace in which uh, the event has been reported, and we can go directly to the accepted section. So here are connected all the info, are gathered all the information, the the reports which are uh, pending for validation. Uh, yeah, I think the video is re just repeated. So, um, so the validate the validator is just uh, accessing the information. It can validate, and then the notification will be shared um, at national level with all the user of the the application in enrolled in the segment and in the workspace. If we are sharing the information at a broader scale. So you can access to the notification in your mailbox and you can review the comment and, and, uh, and be aware about uh, the event. Uh, so you can at any moment also access to the event near me functionality from which you will see what has been reported within your workspace segment, but also in the location uh, in which you have the access rights uh, about a specific disease, for example. So based on this, um, the dashboard uh, available uh, in MRI and MPSI will grow, and you will uh, you will receive the the the, um, the aggregation of the information for for example here the number of events per month in a specific workspace and segments based on the status of uh, the report if it's pending for acceptance if it's returned accepted or validated you can also decide to uh, visualize only validated event, for example. You can also see the number of uh, reports per disease, so the type of disease reported in a specific workspace and segment. You have um, an overview of the percentage of events based on the, the type of uh, event, if it's multi-host, for example, or uh, the which type of animal uh, had been uh, affected by the event. You can access to some uh, maps on the, the, the density of report in a specific location. And you have the percentage of events which, uh, which are confirmed or suspected or denied uh, in specific workspace and segment as well. Uh, 